again. So you know, come here to meditate. You come here just to talk to me. Never mind. Every time different, eh? And why not, huh? Okay. Next question. All these Chinese and Vietnamese only? Oh yeah, I thought you were upstairs. How huh? fine? Never mind. Okay. Talk. Vietnamese first. Dạ, con kính chào sư phụ. Dạ, kính chào sư phụ. <cười> <cười> sư phụ đệ tử. Ok, rồi sao? <cười> con không có con không có câu hỏi nhưng mà con lần đầu tiên gặp sư phụ, con chỉ biết nói là sư phụ sắp xếp cho con trong gia đình em ấm hết rồi con được đi gặp sư phụ. Wow. Và có nhiều chuyện mà khó khăn lắm cho con thì uh-huh. sư phụ cũng sắp xếp được hết cho con. Uh-huh. Thì con chỉ biết là biết cảm ơn sư phụ nhiều. Ok, Để con không có gì. Tiếp tục tu hành. Không có chi, tiếp tục tu hành, ok? Mà trả tiền cho tôi bao nhiêu? Đây. <cười> Làm việc nhiều vậy mà không trả tiền gì hết hả? Ok. Thôi, không có sao, tiếp tục tu hành. Người khác? À, kính thưa sư phụ, con thầy gặp sư phụ con dùng, sư phụ độ còn hỏi được. Xin sư phụ giúp con về đường tu hành, con gặp khó khăn. Khi con ngồi thiền, con hay gặp những chuyện giật bình đại, thấy sợ hãi. Dạ yeah, hả? Dạ, và... Sợ cái gì đâu? Có chuyện gì? Con không dám kể ra nhiều, tôi kể thì nó dài dòng lắm. À, Thấy những chút ma xin, hả? Ma tới hả? Kêu gạo hả? Oh, Ồ, ma tới gạo hả? Rồi lúc con ngủ, con, nằm, con cũng nằm mơ thấy. Ồ, oh, vậy hả? Cũng sợ. Ai biết hồi đó có mấy người boyfriend sợ ma anh chi? <cười> dạ, thưa thưa. Đừng có sợ ma. Ngu sao sợ ma? Thưa thưa, giúp con cho con. Mình chết mình cũng thành ma, sợ gì? Dạ. À, ai chết được cũng thành ma hết Nếu mà không tu thành ma. Còn bà con dòng họ mình hồi đó kể qua ba má mình ha thì cũng là thành ma hết trơn à thế sao tại sợ má má là ba con của mình <cười> ba con trước thấy chưa thì bây giờ nếu mình sợ ma thì mình ráng tu cho lẹ lẹ không vô cái nhập y như vậy đó yeah. hiểu chưa biết rồi cái đó họ tới họ báo cho mình biết là bà không tu là bà giống như vậy bây như tôi bây giờ nè yeah. thấy không à. yeah. con kính xin sư phụ giúp cho con con khai ngộ thêm con à. lên cao một chút để mấy cái yeah. cái thép cái gì đó? Dạ, con nghe cái băng á sư phụ nói cả ngày cả đêm con cả ngày, ngày cả đêm hết ngồi thiền cũng nghe nữa không ngồi thiền nghe khoảng 15 phút hai chục phút con tắt đi không để để luôn để luôn dạ để luôn được để nó nó nhỏ nhỏ thôi dạ. à, mình không nghe được nhưng mà ma nghe được <cười> <cười> để cho họ họ nghe cái họ quên quên chọc ghẹo mình hiểu chưa ngủ nghe mê quá quên hết trơn <cười> nhiều khi con đi cái cái cầu đó cầu nó gãy con sụp xuống xuống hố luôn. sụp xuống hố luôn dạ ngập nước ngập tới mũi tới mồm luôn ôi chú cha nằm mê đó nằm mê thôi còn sống nhăn răng trời ơi mê thôi sợ gì sợ quá con thôi 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 nằm mê thôi đừng có sợ má ơi nằm mê một sự chuyển thiệt con chưa sợ nằm mê sợ nói rồi ai chết cũng thành ma sợ chi <cười> mà có sợ thì phải tu phải không dạ chứ không chết cũng giống y mấy người ma vậy còn 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 nhiều khi còn hơn nữa dạ. biết đâu mình dở hơn họ nữa dạ kính thưa sư phụ mấy năm trước con thể nghiệm tốt lắm con gặp dạ. sư phụ luôn luôn Đã bây giờ tự nhiên có gặp ma dạ không tại sao vậy con tự... không biết nữa con không hay là ăn uống sao không có dạ, không có con ăn uống rất là kỹ mà con à. thiền cũng rất đều đặn à thôi chắc cũng tốt. có là một cái thời gian của mình nữa thôi ok dạ, à. dạ mình đi ngang sư. hết cái chỗ đó rồi nó nói, ha dạ, dạ. Cái đi ra không sao đâu ráng niệm phật cho nhiều ha dạ. Nghe băng ngoài, để, lúc ngồi thiền cũng để băng, ok? Yeah, yeah. Để đèn sáng sáng, yeah. ok? Để đèn sáng, yeah. ok? Mình thì mình bịt lại cho nó nó tối. Nếu mình không muốn sáng thì mình lấy cái cái đồ mà người ta cho mình ở trên máy bay để mà mà, mà yeah. che mắt để ngủ đó, như ngon đó. Yeah. Này đó mình che lại mà đèn thì để sáng bên ngoài, hiểu chưa? Yeah. À, để cái đèn sáng và để cái băng sư phụ nói pháp, nói kinh gì đó. Yeah. À, hay là hát gì đó, cái nào mà nghe mà mà, mà nó yên ổn được thì để hoài. Dạ. hiểu chưa dạ. nếu mà họ thích nghe hát thì mình để mấy băng hát dạ. <cười> nếu họ thích nghe tụng kinh á dạ. thì để băng tụng kinh cái nào mà nó có hiệu nghiệm thì mình để dạ. ok để hoài vậy đó dạ. ngồi thiền cũng để không sao hết á dạ. mình vừa nghe mình thiền đó sao dạ. ok để cho họ nghe họ họ bận rộn đi chưa <cười> độ cho họ luôn dạ kính thưa sư phụ đời sống con thì rất yên ổn thầy thọ ok rồi rất là tốt nhưng mà sự rất lúc nằm mơ là thấy sợ ai à, thì ban đêm mà ngủ để mấy cái thép mà để nhỏ nhỏ đó nhiều khi để nhỏ nhỏ nghe ngủ ngon à, dạ. à ok con cũng nghe cả đêm hèn chi hồi tối này tôi nằm mơ tôi cũng thấy như bà vậy đó <cười> đúng là bà đem mấy cái cái cái, cái đảng phái của bà tới đây thôi dẫn họ đi chỗ khác đi nha không dạ. tôi <cười> không có rảnh nói chuyện với mấy người người ma hả à? nói chuyện mấy người sống mà còn nghe không được nó nói ma anh chi à, không thôi được rồi dạ, cảm ơn.
không sao đâu ha cứ vậy là tiếp tục làm việc vậy ha rồi để hình sư phụ xung quanh ngủ phải không nghe okay. yeah. đặng bác gác cửa cho <cười> để nhiều mấy chục cái rồi ok để thêm đi <cười> à, thì, thì đừng đừng có ngủ phải không ngủ thì khỏi nằm mớ vậy chứ à. à nhớ có cái chuyện sư phụ nói chuyện vui không cái anh chàng mà ngủ nằm nằm mơ thấy gái đẹp đó rồi cái cười lên đó, và vợ nó nói cười gì vậy nó ờ tại nãy nằm mơ thấy có gái đẹp tới chung vui với tụi nó à, không có được nằm mơ như vậy nữa <cười> nhéo ông một cái đầu quá ông nói thôi từ này tới sau tôi không dám ngủ nữa đâu <cười> thì đừng ngủ hả cứ, cứ cứ ngồi thiền hoài đi hả nằm mơ nó mới vô chứ không nằm mơ nó đâu vô đâu ha ok không có chi đâu đừng có sợ nằm mơ không sợ gì ha ma thiệt nhiều khi nhát cũng sợ nữa thì sư phụ nói rồi hồi xưa sư phụ chưa có đâu có tiền bạc gì đâu hả chưa có đi làm business á <cười> chưa có đi làm business chưa có tiền á đi mướn mấy cái nhà ma không à đúng là sư nhà ma đó việt nam mình nói nhà ma có nhà ma thiệt á nhà nào cũng ma không à mà cái nhà nào ma là họ cho mình mướn tại vì nó rẻ <cười> mướn mướn thì có ma thiệt á vô mấy người xuất gia nằm ngủ kéo giò kéo cắn gì nó <cười> kéo tóc rồi vui lắm đâu có sao đâu, đâu qua trái chết gì đâu mấy người còn sống nhân rằng tới bây giờ hả mình đừng sợ nó nó phải sợ mình chứ mình là dương mà nằm mơ thấy thì kệ nó đi có có như coi cine khủng bố <cười> <cười> nhiều người ta cứ bỏ tiền nó mất thế mà mới đi coi mấy cái phim mà khủng bố được đặng về sợ chơi cho vui còn bác <cười> còn bác hả bác miễn phí coi cine mỗi ngày mà bác còn complain cái nỗi gì <cười> phải không ha à. à, nhiều người bỏ tiền đi coi cine khủng bố thôi mà kệ nó đi dạ. mình phần mình mình tu phần nó nó chọc ha à. dạ. <cười> không sao đâu dạ, đừng có sợ dạ, hồi trước có thể nghiệm tốt thì bây giờ mai mốt sẽ có trở lại ok dạ. Dạ. rồi người nào nữa nói lẽ tôi không có rảnh nhau <cười> tôi đi coi cinema bây giờ đi <cười> Thấy không? Thấy không? À, đúng, cho, lúc cho nói thì không có nói, ngồi ngơ ngơ đó. Rồi cái, cái lúc mà người ta nói, người khác nói thì muốn ăn xí vô. À, người ta nói tiếng Anh cũng xí vô, nói tiếng Việt. Ừ. Không hỏi ha, thôi cho người Tàu. Rồi, dẹp. Yeah. Hết rồi, người Việt không muốn hỏi cho người Tàu đi. Ê, hey, Chinese. <cười> Chinese can ask now. Trung Quốc đánh kia quên rồi. Khoai điện. À. Dạ quân hào ạ, à mà Sự tả trò đó Ê Nhưng mà đi chủ dạy tả trò trò quả đi nó xưa hồ yếu cài bộ à. Nà xào xung chủ thả mong mẹ ở chủ dạy chế ý chỉ ừ. Đủ ý tiền thả mong chống ngoài miền lại Đi chủ dạy tả trò đó xưa hồ cài bộ trò quả đi Đó tả khai, khăn Thả thấu tí xe lại khăn Khăn đi chủ phụ tổng khăn tổ chính đi chủ phụ tổng Oh my god Hồi lại thả cảm giác đó thấu sang hảo xăng yếu bộ dạy tổng chân khai yang chen khan và đi chủ xẹt rồi ít theo ít theo gì lại, vì vậy ta thấy xẹo, thằng này yang chen cũng rất đau, thằng này 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 rất 因为是跟师兄一起打坐下，我看见家里没有人，就自己两个人，他就上来找。没事了，没事了，算了算了，谢谢师傅。不客气，好，你吓我了。呀，我很感谢师傅，我六十二岁阴性了，现在七十五岁了，我一生之中最七十五岁了，哎，看来那么年轻，最满足的我一生。啊，这是我真的感谢感谢，我还得到得到一个饭店。饭店的店面也是上帝给我的，不是买的，是送的。一个饭店有一百一十公程，我的饭店送啊，哎，买了个送的，我的饭店得到了，我真感谢。送是什么意思啊？这是不要钱的，送给我的一个饭店。怎么会？哎，就是跟这个就是跟师傅啊。哎，那种就是送我最喜欢。送饭馆给你啊？哎，还有一个我的。还有没有别人送一个饭馆给我？真的，真的，我关掉两个饭店。关掉了，关掉两个荤荤菜馆，开个蔬菜馆，一个店面是送的，哎，房东送给我的，真的好，这是我真幸运的，这是我感恩感恩一辈子最高兴。那另外一个还要不要送了？哎，第二个
，我求求有啊。<笑>嗯，挖那个道场也是人家送的，我也酒了，哎，有什么就什么，别酒了。现在很好很好，现在我我很感恩。那么现在马拉加现在又增加了十六个次数，哦，又增加又来种花，通通种了很多花。哦，现在每天在工作啊。啊，那个师兄是去那个哥斯达黎加来的一个师兄，就是他受过最最大的困难那个师兄。嗯，他天天在那里工作。啊，做了厕所，还做那个，种了很多花。Okay. 尤其师傅那个房子，我特别保管好。哎呀，哎，感谢师傅啊！何必嘛？那边是常银住而已。我每天在高兴，每天在快乐。哎呀，在那边共修。共修啊，每天。共、啊、修了修、啊。到那边有没有人来那边共修？有有，但是很少。我们全部马拉加只有六个同修。OK。马拉加只有六个同修。Okay. 没有好多，哦、okay, 呃，那么我们这个六个人很团结，什么东西都有了，要什么就有什么，这都是师傅的力量啊，不是我啊，师傅力量哦， okay, 真的，我感恩师傅，我现在深深体验到了，什么都是说师傅做的，不是我们做的，嗯，恭喜，感谢，感谢，感谢，<笑>感谢师傅，快乐，快乐，再见，太太好吗？太太很好。嗯、现在现在在家里看饭店、嗯、，OK， 因为他不来来我们饭店关掉了。我懂我懂。哎、呃，谢谢。您轮班吗？还、啊呃、有一个他来了怕吃不消，在这里来住十几个钟都住不下来、嗯，所以我喊他不要来最好，他看饭店。Okay, 谢谢师傅、啊，谢谢师傅，谢谢谢谢。谢谢<笑>你是很有耐心爱心的人，这 OK。<笑> OK， 师傅您好。刚才师傅，呃，上一场的提到就是说有六届、七届的人，他们下来的现在还没达到四届。师傅以前说过，五届以上的就下不来的，他不想下来啊、哦。不过是我人的话，我可以带他下来啊、哦。他一个人的很很难，不想下。比方说跟师傅无关的哈。那平常的六啊七届的人，他们不想下来了，你拜托他，他也不下来。呃，对他太困难了，懂不懂？不、啊、过、啊、如果跟师傅下来的话，嗯，就还 OK 呀、yeah? 啊。他愿意，而且也有师傅也保护他、啊 yeah? 不过因为下来这个世界业障太深重，不是他的业障，就是被传染到这样子，听懂不懂？啊、被影响，被拉拢啊！因为生出来一个无辜的小孩啊，啊，你给他吃什么他就吃什么，你给他吃肉他就吃肉了，他怎么能够？反抗父母的那，他怎么反抗呢？那个婴儿啊，懂不懂？从婴儿就开始喂他，肉了。比方说这样子哈，不然的话，父母不喂的话，就那种否定的人啊，方便呢也在这样喂他。然后他怎么反抗呢？懂不懂？然后吃这个喝那个，然后就业障就被被污染掉了。了解师傅意思吗？然后长大了，因为有这个头脑，有这个身体，就是跟人一样，了解吗？除了灵魂以外，啊、嗯。你师傅刚生出来，也不是说马上就去找名士呢啊，而是跟大家混的啊，上水啊什么也是经过这个经过那个啊，痛苦这个跟大家一样的，释迦牟尼佛也是一样的啊，耶稣基督也是一样的，你懂我意思吗？下来这边就混混摇摇了，如果下来这边全部都知道的话，多好了，那我何必叫你们？你们全部都知道了，何必师傅下来或是谁下来，懂吗？下来这个世界就这样，我重点是这样了、啊，那、啊、所以我一直说我不怪你们辛苦，那、啊、我就是鼓励你们要尽量要尽量，不然我们会输的，懂不懂？哎，要尽量要要一定要赢的啊，要一次努力奋斗，打坐修行，保护自己的那个道德的那个。呃，妙格，懂不懂？这样才能够上来，才能够回来源源源头的家乡。我意思是这样 ，OK、嗯。不过没有关系，第六、第七，等一下师傅也会带他们回去了。啊，好。我意思说，连他们下来也被污染到这样程度呀、yeah? 啊？要多修行才能回去啊！不是说一下来都哦，一天到晚都是第六、第七讲，什么都不要做，不可能的。你看释迦牟尼佛呢，修好辛苦啊。六年呢，而且什么都放下了啊，整个国家又放下，五五百个太太又放下，第一个太太跟小孩，连小孩啊，父母谁不疼小孩，他连小孩也要放下，才能才能回回回头了。我给六年了，修那么辛苦，修错的地方，修不对的地方，快死掉了，变成骨头而已，因为修苦行。这样还还找不到自己的那个
原来的国位呢？他是从都西大天下来，你们都知道了啊，谁都记载的。耶稣也是这样子，他也要修到二十几年以后，他才完全真的了解自己的本来面目啊！啊，我讲这样子，为了要让你们知道，既然你们有弄错啊，有很挣扎的，不过不是全全部是你们的错。了解吗？我前世的业障又跑过来粘在我们身上，我们已经去地狱，地狱已经烧光光了，上来的还剩下那个在空气里面还跑过来，在这宇宙那个宇宙那个什么磁场里面，然后还跑过来粘在自己身上，让自己那个很痛苦，很挣挣扎扎。要做好，他又拉我们到坏的地方。即使不要做坏，他自己也影响影响我们头脑。啊，所所以，嗯，没关系，继续奋斗了哈，继续打坐，继续知道对的路就是走就对了，不管多痛苦，多那个辛苦，还要继续做。我一次次讲，没有别的办法了，下来这边就是这样啊，谁叫你们下来嘛？啊，<笑><笑>讲过了啊 ，OK， 好，谢谢师傅，哎，高兴，师傅，嗯。哎，师傅，呃，就像刚才说的，我就是感觉到自己打坐就是被困在那里，嗯嗯，有时候嗯就是这脑袋很挣扎着。你每次都是你一样吗？别问了啦，你还没开口，我已经知道了。给别人，<笑>这要继续做吗？没有别的办法了 ，OK， 继续做，继续做 ，OK， 继续，没有别的办法了，回头更难。讲过了啊。<笑>要爬山当然困难了啊,啊！如果那么简单成佛，不是回去源源头的话，那何必释迦牟尼佛下来？何必耶稣基督？何必穆罕默德？何必咕噜那那？何必任何名士嘛？懂我意思吗？就这样，因为痛苦嘛。他们也下来，他们也很痛苦。嗯，啊，你看呢？那么多名士下来，不过下来了以后还是。还是要修行啊！你看有没有一个名士下来，从什么什么天下来，然后马上就从小孩子的时候开始长经说法了，<笑><笑>马上第五阶了，不不变了？没有，有没有看到？没有，那你们也是一样啊，难以额外，难以想便宜啊。<笑> Next one。啊，现在也让问就不问了。哎，师傅您好，我是法国的同学，我母亲在七十九岁的时候，母呃，您给她印心，非常高兴。那她去年十一月十几号，刚好在那个我们要去呃泰国打禅之前，她就往生。呃，我感谢师傅是带她走了，就是刚好我才可以去泰国打禅。嗯，非常谢谢。那我自从她去世以后，我天天都很难过，会就会想到她。可是我一直都没有做梦，没有梦到他。梦干什么？<笑>你等级那么低，怎么看到他？啊、嗯，我想请问一下，是他现在有没有出了三节？谢谢。当然他出了。啊，谢谢。问自己有没有出才对。嗯，谢谢。OK， 你心硬性了，没问题嘛 ？OK。师傅会照顾，不管他出不出善界，我会照顾到他出为止啊。那你在管自己啦 o k 呀， yeah. 他已经脱离苦海，他哪哪哪里跑回来跟你讲<笑> ？OK， next one， don't worry 啊。你看啊啊。感谢师傅，呃，我没有问题，只是呃，感谢师傅。去年呃，我小女儿已经隐半心，然后，呀，然后今年我我儿子他也想隐全心了，感谢师傅加持。我得不错，哈哈哈哈哈哈！你家是这样懂？什么？你孩子怎么样？呃，我的小女儿去年已经对，知道，然后今年儿子也想赢全心了，今能赢吗？今年我的儿子啊 ，OK， 他本来一直很犹豫，啊哈，觉得自己打不了两个半小时，尽量嘛，尽量，对。然后去年去那个泰国打禅时候，然后过了几天他就想通了，他跟我说：“妈妈，我要赢全心
，那今年七月份他就可以一全新啊！谢谢师傅加持，太好了嘛！嗯，这样还哭。<笑>师傅，这一个小问题就是，小朋友如果他呃当天打坐时间不够的话，隔天是不是必须要让他补上 ？OK， 能够补就补 ，OK， 好，那尽量嘛 ，OK， 尽量哈。哎呀，谢谢师傅，不客气。那小孩那么坦白啊，怕怕打坐不够，<笑>不错啊，跟他讲尽量就好，尽量就好了 ，OK， 尽力嘛 ，OK， 打坐多就是对我们好嘛，因为如果我我也可以跟你们说啊，随便啦、啊，你能打多少就打多少，这样你们比较喜欢我。不过我跟你们讲坦白，如果没有人跟你们讲一个戒规矩的话，你们就不做的啦。赖赖在那里，那师傅说做多少没关系嘛，何必？我何必卖命呢？难道师傅说没关系，你做五分钟就行了？当师傅这样吗？我是要你们达到一个程度嘛，啊？所以我说要打就呃两个半小时了，呀？不过如果你们达不到的话，那我不会杀你们的啦。<笑>就是打坐越多越好。而且，如果我们人就是这样嘛，懒惰嘛，如果没有一个规矩给你，没有一个什么榜样啊，我们说那个一定要这样，你们就不会做的啦。啊！你看有没有一个人工哈，在那个任何的办公室哈，自愿哈，每天一定到那边工作八个小时、十个小时的，没有，还要刷卡什么，他还要准时到。他还不会想准时呢，每次找借口啊，交通太多了，赛车啊，我今天头痛啊，啊，我不上班啊，我妈妈生病了，我小孩不乖，啊，按多借口不想工作呢，啊，何况老板就说哦，没关系啦，我们工厂啊打开为了好玩而已，你们爱工作就工作，不爱就留在家里去，去赌博。有吗？那这样子，你觉得员工会不会进来工作啊？当然不工作啊，不工作也可以零钱，谁笨才去工作？何<笑>况你们呢、啊？这些呃懒惰的弟子，要<笑>打就两个半小时，还在那边打瞌睡，然后还算清楚，嗯，十二点到二两点半。<笑>在那边打瞌睡而已，然后放一个闹钟醒起来，就是 OK， 两个半小时过去了，我也可以自由自在出去了啊！要有一个我们那个头脑啊，是要有一个规矩的，要有一点戒律哈、啊，要有一点叫不是规矩啊 ，discipline 怎么样？纪律啊，纪律哈、啊，对啊，要有一点这样子，不然他不会做的，嗯。已经知道了要做两个半小时，还这边要骗人呢，怎么骗骗自己的？不管打瞌睡，不是，但在那边乱七八糟想什么，还是写下来两个半小时呢？啊啊，没关系啦，你尽量就好。我意思说要尽量，不要骗自己，了解吗？因为打坐多是对自己好。那、啊、不过刚开始师傅还要说这样子，一定要做两个半小时了啊！以后你们自动嘛，好吗？哎，自动，哎。小孩上学也是这样子，有没有一个小孩自动每一天就这样乖乖上学呢？做功课呢？很小，也要要鼓励他啊！有有有时候要收买他啊！啊，你做功课好好，然后给你五块呵呵啊，等等啊，知道吗？谁是对他好的呢？呀，你不一定能够得到他什么那个帮助，因为他学是他毕业嘛，他毕业以后他。找好的工作，你不一定还在世界享受他的一点钱。如果他给你的话，那<笑>、啊、不过你要他上学，因为他当来好，那、啊、这样子还要还要推动啊，还要鼓励，还要恐吓，有时候要收买才行啊。给五块十块，要乖乖做功课啊。我带你就去喝喝喝什么都好东西啊，吃冰啊等等。啊，带你去玩，就功课玩，妈妈带去玩。比方说这样子，我是爸爸，不然爸爸打屁股。呵呵比方说这样子，他在做啊。我们那个头脑哈，也是跟小孩一样啊，喜欢简单，不喜欢工作嘛啊，就这样子。所以要有一点纪律哈。OK， 下一个，来吧，快快。
，不然我跑掉了。师傅你好，嗯，首先我想感谢师傅，就是说自从呃印信以来吧，就是说嗯嗯得到师傅很多的加持，然后每天就像都是嗯生活在这个就是呃神奇感应之中，所以说不完。那我现在想问师傅一个问题，不知道可不可以问，嗯、就是说呃前段时间师傅说嗯，就是我们这个地球有一些比较困难的情况，要我们。呃，赶紧做这个 S M T V 的广告啊，就说拯救这个地球。我想知道，就是说现在这种情况是不是已经好转了？你没有看到啊？<笑>你没有觉得好不好转啊？嗯，我觉得是好转。对呀、啊，就是、说那个最困难的时候，是不是已经都过去了？不一定，<笑>你如果不继续努力，他再回来，<笑>冤家很好找，呃<笑>，斧神很难抓到。嗯，所以还是要继续努力。不要问我这样子啊，师傅说 OK 了，我现在可以<笑>轻松快乐了啊，不是这样子了。我们还在这个世界，那、啊、我们不是在天堂，所以别问我轻松不轻松了，继续做就对了。OK OK，、嗯、谢谢师傅，不客气。不过好转多了，谁都知道嘛啊。美国又军队要退回来了，呃、啊，英国已经退一些了。也要退了，法国也要退回来了，那各国要退军队回去了，还有很多和平建建业什么一大堆的，当然也这边一点那边一点，不过比那个以前和平多，世界和平多，然后国家互相帮助别的，那国家互相团结啊，然后现在呃每一个国家联合国，每一个国家都集合，天天我是常常合起来想办法净化这个地球。嗯、啊，排毒，嗯、啊，想净化啊，呃，做越来越好，嗯，保护那个环境，呃，保护我们的地球。你看啊，天天都有 S M T V， 天天都有好的消息，以前哪有这么多？啊，现在好像大家都互相做我们喜欢这个东地方，啊，好像就跟我们要一样的，是吗？一直往那边呢，一直往那边做，啊，应该恭喜自己啊！这很好的啦，你、啊、不管有一些业障，当然还没有完全消除啊。那个是个人，那些还是那些团体的业障啊。不过总挂了报告哈、啊，我们地球已经好多了，多那种比较多道德精神，也多互相帮助，比较像人啊，现在比较像人、啊。<笑> OK， 行了，下一个，中国，中国很。哎，师傅，我来自那个西非的喀麦隆，嗯，那 Africa， okay. 哎，我们就是在那个，嗯，在喀麦隆和周边的几个国家都有做 SMTV 的广告，啊、uh-huh. ，但是那边的网速就是不是那么理想，啊、uh-huh. ，当然，那就是很多人就说只能听到，好像只能听到声音，看不到画面，好、oh, ，总比没有好，总比没有，<笑>还是有福报，哎，因为之前之前我有给那个国外组写一个建议。就说看可不可以说通过卫星转播的方式，啊、把那通过、呃、卫星转播、啊、把那个 S M T V 的节目转送到非洲去啊。那、okay、后来那个国外主播回信说，台湾打完船之后会给我回复。到后来也就没有任何消息。有没有要很多钱呢？哎，这个我就不太清楚。啊，不太清楚，就是要做而已。<笑>你要报告人家你要什么东西，你要先列下来。OK， 那个。有有利益的地方，有不不利益的地方，还有多少钱，多少时间，能不能做，懂不懂？因为我在不要这样随便要酒。因为我在网络上有查到，就是说那个转播到欧洲的那个微信公司和，呃，到非洲转播那家微信公司同一家公司。同一家不一定是免费给你。<笑><笑>下一个，感谢师傅，呃，为我们所做的一切，感谢师傅。呃，我有一个问题，就是呃，如果如果在呃做梦的时候，呃，呃， yeah. 因为害怕然后杀生的话，这算不算犯戒？什么杀生？啊，下对啊，做梦没关系啦，做梦没关系。不过就比如是说，我们那个下一次还没有完全干净。对，但是我感觉我就很好像很害怕。嗯，嗯那打坐多打坐嘛，多忏悔 ，OK？ 嗯，呀、yeah?。呃，还有一个问题就是，呃，我女儿她已经五岁多了，然后她就是很很希望能够跟师傅印心。
，然后跟师傅修行。等一下嘛 ，OK， 嗯，等六岁的印经 ，OK， 等六岁满的时候，不是等那个观音智者来嘛？啊，现在讲我这边不行了，来，嗯，师傅，有一次我在打坐的时候呢，你先报名嘛，他介绍的时候刚好六岁吧，哎<笑>呀、yeah.。师傅，嗯、呃，我有一次在打坐的时候，觉得好像，呃，在下来这个世界以前，我对师傅做过一个 promise， 但是我怎么也记不起来这个 promise 是什么样子的。<笑>我想问问看，师傅有必要知道吗？我、哦、不知道，你自己 promise 都不知道，何必我怎么知道呢？嗯<笑>、啊，在这世界混的时间太长了，不可能说，如果 promise 的话，都一定要做好事的了啊。那现在看到什么好事，你感觉到应该做，你就做就对了嘛。OK， 特别是说是下一次的 promise 又跑出来跟你讲了啊。好，谢谢师傅。Okay, 那做好事就好了嘛，哈、啊。反正我们来这个世界还能做什么啊？要做好事是吗？那 promise 怎么也是这样子？我 promise 啊，意思说答应的意思了。我 promise 答应要修行了啊。我我下来的时候一定。啊、呃、啊、呃，会帮助师傅呃转法啊等等 ，OK， 来做什么工作啦，做中心的工作啦等等等等 ，OK， 就这样而已。还有什么呢？啊，我知道你们也许跟师傅 promise 不要再下地狱了，我知道，<笑><笑>很多会这样 promise， 你<笑>要要记得清楚啊。OK， 你们做什么都是是为了自己哈、啊，不是为师傅哈、啊，不要认为都是为我工作，不是这样子啦。有一些人他自己也会有那种能力啊，啊，他也可以看一些，你、啊、看，像有一些人可以看透墙壁啊，但他的能力就前世留下来。有一些人可以看到你的时长，嗯、啊，凹了，啊，看到你那个光啊，多黑啊，多光啊，<笑>所以对某些人他这种能力你没办法那个影响，啊、在天堂都这样，嗯。啊，不是天堂而已，有很有一些呃星球是这样，不是星球而已，像不是说有那个人生住的那种地方，就是我们我们普通人看不到人的啊。不过他们是也是有身体，就是他们身体比较细，我们看不到啊。像那个我们普通的人死亡了以后。如果去阿修罗的话，还是有身体的，跟这个身体一模一样，就是平常的洋人这边看不到，啊，硬的人才看到，哎，他们硬的人看到硬的身体，所以也是有身体。别的星球有时候，他们尊重人呐、啊，他看那个尊重的程度，看那个外表，看那个你们的时长，看你们的光，嗯、啊，多。多亮呀！啊，月亮的话越受尊重，越当长辈呀。我们这个世界就是，呃，得标多的话，我是骗了得标的，<笑>也会得尊重啊。还有，会有免费的飞机到处都跑，受人家那个呃接引什么军队一大堆这样子。不过别心酒哈，不能骗这样子。你那个逛外面啊，那个 aura 嘛，中文怎么讲？光圈。光圈，对啦，你那个外围的光圈哈、啊，谁都看得到了。因为这种地球，这种星球都这样啊。如果你的光圈黑的话，他们都让你自由了。比方说，不来跟你交往。啊，你很自由自在，<笑>所以在那种星球，如果你要自由自在的话，光圈要黑一点，<笑>人家都不来烦你的啊。反而那些亮的哈，亮的光圈哈，哦，很多人会围绕，会崇拜，会要当朋友，呃、要拜访，要跟着修行，懂不懂？要靠近啊，叫你会被吵。<笑>如果你想安安静静，不要把光圈弄得好黑、好暗，这样没有人想靠近。OK， 这个地球是相反的，嗯、啊，有的人呢、啊，那个光圈好黑、好暗，不过因为有自己的飞机嘛，有军队保护啊，呃，坐在某某的那个城堡里面哈、啊，就可以
，受人家尊重了。啊，然后人家进来要拜访，要磕头什么一大堆，要拜拜的等等哈、啊。有一些连在寺庙里里面也做啊，到了冠军好黑，看起来可笑啊。有一些也连全部黑也不行，哎，混很多颜色，<笑>又黑又灰，又咖啡色，又又又竹晒的那种黑，不是说很顺的那种黑。<笑>你讲这个我也想黑的，讲到他们我也被堵塞了，<笑><笑>那个浪皮的光怎么讲？呃，一一对一对，我混的蛮多，混足，一顿一顿讲一，一组一组一团，<笑>因为是不是顺跟那个？我们有一些黑不够黑的很漂亮，像那个绒布黑也是蛮漂亮，就是不不是像这样，那就一块一块一块这样，很很厚很硬那种，懂不懂？混混浊，我我是很黑很硬。Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, he said that、uh, I bring,、uh, you know, love to Austria, <laughs> and he feels it. <laughs> It's good、uh, everywhere, not just Austria,、eh? yeah. Europe at least, no. Yeah. Yeah. It is spread out like a, like oil, you know, like an oil drop. It、uh, it affects the surroundings. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Any more questions? Answer anything else? Master, I received one message from the art center for you. Yeah.、Uh, I've said that、uh, they're really honored to receive your invitation for this、uh, for the seminar.、Mm-hmm. But sadly, none of them could come because of visa problems. Oh, they have problems. Well, it takes about a month. Oh, I understand. Ah,、so uh, okay, of course, of course. No, it's all right. Just let them know so that whoever can come, come. I don't expect everybody to come. Number one, we don't have enough room. Yeah.、Uh, number two, I know some visa problem also. Some African people also cannot come. Let's pray that one day that we no more visa、uh, nonsense and everybody can come and go wherever God takes them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I love the Iranian people very much. I don't know why. I just sympathize with them because they are in difficulty. Yeah, and they're crying every day. I guess not just my people; it's the whole Iranian people. I feel it every day. So I just really want to, if you can come, just it's such comfort and happy for you, for you people. That's all. Yeah, but if they cannot come, it's okay. It's not their fault. Yeah. Maybe next time we let people know a bit longer time, but sometimes it doesn't work like that, you know. <laughs> you see, when we come for longer than like in Thailand, I had to also I could not stay long. Yeah, something like that. There's always something. We try our best, nah,、no? but it's okay. We try the best. We can arrange something else later on. Okay, yeah. So if they come to Europe, they have to apply for one country or just one country can go any everywhere. Uh, it was in the Schengen one. Yeah, can, oh, Schengen only. Okay, understand. Okay. Downside. Yeah, at least、uh, it's fine like this, nah. Next time we can apply one month before and get it ready. How long does it last that visa? Um, I think six months. Ah, I see. Sure, huh? Depends. Three months, sometimes six months. Okay. Okay.、Uh, tourist tourist visa is only only one month. Oh yeah. Usually. Yeah. Okay. They have six months to enter the country, and when they do enter, they have a month maximum to stay. Maximum stay six months. No, no, one month. One month. But within six months, they can go any time. Okay, I understand. Then it's okay. It's very good. <laughs> Every year they apply <laughs> in advance, and if they don't go, then at least the government thinks they're okay, and they don't go. They just apply, but they don't go. At least they are not cheating or anything. I、apply again is maybe hope <laughs> this time they go. <laughs> yeah, you can go. I said, oh, last time we thought of going, but、uh, you know, financial problem. I、oh, didn't feel like going. Ah,、huh? apply again. <laughs> yeah, nobody will say anything, right?、Mm. 
That's, that's what I like about Schengen country. You see, at least you apply for one country, you can go around. I love this kind of freedom, yeah, of trusting each other. But soon it will be like that, huh? I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just really too much division between people, huh? too much. But of course, uh, mankind also needs to learn. Huh? Many countries also have to catch up with each other in, in their mentality also. They have to change their outlook, their mental outlook, and their, their, their way of living and all that also. It's not solely one country's fault. It's just the whole mentality of mankind in different regions is sometimes a little bit uh, strange to other regions, yeah? Uh, unacceptable or maybe a little bit uh, frightening or scary, or not very suitable, <laughs> whatever, yeah? Mm. So the whole mankind has to change, and then the border will be erased, just automatically. <laughs> like you can see the, the Schengen countries, within the Schengen countries, you see mostly the mentality is similar. You see that? Huh? Or not? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this more, uh, more compatible? Yeah? So if other countries also elevate or change themselves into also compatible mental uh, attitudes, mental outlook, then there will be also no more borders. The Schengen will be expanding, expanding, and expanding. Yeah? And that will be very good. At least the whole Europe should be Schengen, you know? <laughs> right? And the vicinity vicinity of Europe. I don't mean just this uh, European Union, I don't mean that. Mm -hmm. I mean on this big continent here, everyone should become Schengen. It's a shame if we don't. Don't you think? Yes. Ah, whatever. Yeah, but it's the same problem. We are changing. Hmm? Yeah, it's with, with, with visa. The people in Serbia, mm -hmm. they need a little more time to get visa. Oh. So perhaps... Uh, they want to come. Eh? Mm -hmm. Of course uh, they there, do. There is now a few initiate. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, perhaps uh, if you know in advance when... <laughs> <laughs> we talk about that already. Yeah. Uh, but uh, perhaps only for, for those countries, for, mm -hmm. for instance, Russia, Iran, Serbia, and, mm -hmm. and such, uh, you can uh, say a month uh, before uh -huh. there will be a meeting, only for those, just for not those. for others. Uh -huh. So you think they will leave me in quiet and peace, <laughs> just, just to be with the service? <laughs> uh, uh, for us it's easy to come. Uh -huh. Any time later? Any time you uh -huh. understand. Say three, three days before. Okay. What like do you think the Serbian and the Romanian and all that? They will keep quiet about all that, and <laughs> 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 nobody else will know anything about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I don't even know what day I will come, but everybody already knows <laughs> without me even telling it. Yeah, because I was supposed to come earlier, but I couldn't, you see that? So it's actually, I don't even know when I come, but they know already. Yeah? Everybody knows. Yeah? <laughs> they tell each other, you know, because of buddy buddies, you know? <laughs> I help you this time, next time you tell me, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they buddy with each other, you know, they're selling me all the time. <laughs> Okay, I would like to do that, yeah, to keep you more informed. It's just unfortunately, it's not always uh, feasible, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Master, uh, Italy is a Schengen country, mm -hmm. and um, it's all bordered by the sea. Mm -hmm. There's an area called Abruzzo, where um, the Scara contact lives. She's looking for land, and apparently there's a lot of available space that's very near the sea, and mm -hmm. it's very stable. Yeah, yeah. And Italy can certainly use your blessing. If you ever consider sustainable. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you do, you do, okay? Yeah. Just uh, sometimes uh, we need a little affinity with that land also, no? Nah? Yeah. Sometimes it may be good all for you, but not good for me. Yeah. Well, I'm still afraid of the Rome, <laughs> the, the, the romance. <laughs> uh, but maybe. <laughs> maybe 
what we could do of something. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? The biblical huh? reference. Uh, yeah, the Romans, yeah. Um, but it's, yeah, who knows, you know, whatever develops, we develop, then we shall see, yeah? Yeah. I don't know if uh, Austria is lucky, you know, I just came here and, uh, okay, I said, why not buy a place? <laughs> and so I did, and so everybody comes, and that is a good thing. But I don't know about Italy, I don't know anywhere else yet, okay? I don't want to see too far, you know, <laughs> one day at a time, hey? One thing at a time. Whatever happens, happens. That's that's my philosophy, okay? Me thinks, huh? <laughs> Me don't know much more than that. <laughs> Me only know whatever happens, happens, yeah? <laughs> and that is good for me. <laughs> huh? It's enough. Yeah, it's enough, my God. <laughs> more than enough, if you know. <laughs> because of that, you know, I also need to pay a price, yeah? Not, not money. Not money price, physical price. No, you see my arm here? Yeah. Something similar. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Because of this, it, it becomes that. Because of that, it's leading to that. And that goes, you know, there's a chain effect. Yeah? And so there's a price to pay for everything. And never mind. Okay, that's it. No more questions? No? No more talk? <laughs> Nothing you want to tell me? Except buy in the center for you. Anything else? <laughs> hmm? Thank you. Maybe I just uh, say we were in Bosnia mm -hmm. at the beginning of the month yeah. and had a le video lecture in um, Sarajevo. Yeah. And people loved it. Oh, that's nice. Almost Thirty people came. Oh, very nice. Uh, and uh, we we give a lot of material mm -hmm. because. They don't have a lot of money, they don't so we give everything yeah. free. Yeah, yeah. And they were so happy mm -hmm. and so pure and sincere. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We so feel so, so much blessing. Uh -huh. That's good. That's how you should do. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm? The Italy. <laughs> asking me all the time what to do. You have to think about what to do. huh? If you're hungry, don't you think of what to do to get food? Okay? Just do everything like you're hungry, okay? <laughs> Very simple is that, yeah? Okay. Okay, any more? But thank you for that. Thank you for the Bosnian people. They need it. They need a lot of love and blessing. There, if you guys have nothing to do and you save money from electric bills and water the way I advised you last night, then you can go around, print some material and give them to people. You save, you use less hot water, Shower less time and don't keep water running while you're showering. I don't keep water running while you're brushing your teeth. Turn off your computer. Turn off the light when you don't need it. Turn off anything on standby that you don't need. Then you will save maybe 10% of your bills. Yeah? Water and electricity together. And then with that money, you do what you want with it. Even spend it on yourself. Have fun. Uh, help some poor people. Yeah? Have some orphans, anything you can do, yeah? Try to spare, yeah? To save money, any way you can. Not just because of money, but also to save the planet, okay? In my house, I turn off everything I can. All the standby uh, machines, anything, computer, TV, turn it off. Off altogether, you know? No standby. <laughs> yeah. And... Uh, Actually, you don't need to take shower every day, you know. You can use a dry cleaning <laughs> system. Yeah, there are some baby wipes and stuff. You wipe with the baby towel, wet towel first. One or two towel, wet towel enough. And then you wipe yourself again with the wet towel with water. And you clean. Smell nice every day. Good enough. And you bath once a month. <laughs> <laughs> Once a year, it's possible you can do that. Once a month is even possible. Or once a week or once every two weeks. If you clean yourself every day, there's no need, you know? And sometimes you go out and your hair is also dirty because dusty. You just use a damp towel to, to wipe it, you know? Wipe it all like, like, like you wipe your clothes. Uh, the clothes you can wipe it, you know, also. You don't have to change and wash every day, yeah? 
keep yourself clean like that and you save a lot of money and um, uh, resources for the earth ne? for the planet if everybody saves a little bit it's a lot yeah and uh, you go together in one car or you go by bus you go by train instead of driving all the time also saves time money and resources yeah okay okay do whatever you can yeah or live together last night I talked a lot about it already I don't want to talk again the tape will be available okay maybe I tell you a little bit you can live together in one one flat instead of each one having one flat it's so big room and empty space you know and you put money together to pay for the rent and instead of paying 400 per month you pay only 100 or even 50 a euro, if, if many people live in your house, you just bear each other a little bit, you know, and uh, share everything. And uh, if you put money to cook together, it's cheaper. Uh, you know, everybody uses one electric light instead of each one one, you know. And then soon you will realize how much money you save. And all this money, you can do what you want with it. Money is freedom too, you know. And then that the money you save, you can control it, you see. Instead of just worrying about paying bills all the time and the money keeps going the way you cannot control, the money you save is the money you can control. You feel good about it. You can do what you want with it. Anything, you spread the Dharma, you give it to the poor, you do whatever your heart feels contented with because it's your hard-earned money. Don't just waste it for luxury or for the sake of showing off the big house or a swimming pool or a big car or whatever. You get a smaller house. Yeah, save all the money, then you can retire earlier. Yeah, if your children are all gone up, you don't have to have a big house anymore. You sell it. You buy a smaller house, or you rent, or you buy a small apartment and live together with a couple of other people and share the rent. What do you do anyway? You're supposed to not sleep in bed anymore. You're supposed to meditate all day, all night. So what for? You need a lot of room. <laughs> <laughs> eh? What for? You need a bed. If you stay together, maybe you even feel stronger to meditate all night together. Even if you just lie down to sleep on the floor, so what, who cares, you know? Who needs a bed? Anyway, here they already prepare me a bed, but at home I don't have a bed. Yeah? I sleep mostly on the floor, or each one has a mattress, it's also fine. You know, we have the meditation mattress that you can spread out like a bed also, how much you want to sleep anyway. Yeah? Okay? And save as much as you can. If you live together, you will see every month, for example, instead of paying, just say, 200 euro for your flat, normally more than that, right? Yes. How much? 400, 400 is a minimum, yeah? Minimum. Okay, 400 for yourself alone, and you earn maybe 1,500. You pay one-third already, just for the rent. And then electricity, water, and other bills on top, insurance, whatever, yeah? So you stay together, you pull in the same car. You take each other to work, maybe a little bit earlier than usual because you have to, you know, drop off everybody. It depends, you know, if you work near together or go on the bus or whatever. But you stay together, it's definitely cheaper. Four people in one small flat even. No need to have one bedroom, two bedrooms, just stay together, yeah? <laughs> a studio will do, who cares, yeah? Apartment with two bedrooms, my foot. <laughs> and you you don't even step in the other bedroom. You put all nonsense in it. That a thousand years, you don't even look at it. <laughs> Just because you have many things, you think you need another bedroom, but you don't even use it. All the things you put in there, I bet you sort it out and you feel there are nothing that you really need. Just because you have it, you just store it. Last night I told you about a ridiculous story of my ten also. You can hear about it. I talked to the, the, the working group, you know, so the tape, maybe you can play today for them to see or tomorrow in the morning, okay? Just the tape. They hear, there's no, no, no picture, just a voice, so you know what I'm talking about, okay? Mm. Uh, for that, uh, maybe you can also translate it to some matter. It's not much, really, huh? It's okay to use a translation system then, okay? Right. Mm, nothing political. Is there? <laughs> okay, nothing really. It was just fun and it's okay. Uh, yes, you will, you will see how much money you save at the end of the year. Suppose you have a flat for 400 per month, yeah? but four people live in it, you pay only 100. How much you have every month? 
300 euros. You have to work one week at least for that. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean the cash. I don't talk about uh, tax and all that together, the netto. You have to work one week or at least a few days for this, you know what I mean? These few days you can even retire earlier. <laughs> and at the end of the year, how much you save? Four thousand, at least, no? Or three thousand? Three thousand? Three thousand six hundred. Three thousand six hundred, yes. And plus electric bill, less. Because all of you use the same light, uh, you know, same cooking, yeah. If, and, and the food, when you pull together, it's cheaper. And also happier to eat together, you know? What for you go home and eat alone in a dark corner of the sink? <laughs> like all the bachelors. <laughs> yeah, and then you can help each other also with house chores and everything, yeah. And uh, you will see even petrol also less, yeah? Everything will be less. And you help each other repair the house and all that. So you don't have to call people to come in. Everything will be less. Hmm? And you meditate more because you have each other and you encourage each other. If one sits, the other also wants to sit, you know, and the other also join in. And then four people, four gods sit there together. <laughs> yeah, everything will be better, okay? Try to save like that, yeah? Mm, no need privacy. What for you need privacy? What is it you're doing that I cannot even look at? <laughs> Except you go in the toilet, okay, but what is more private about your life, especially the bachelors? Huh? What is it, the privacy that you have? What for? Huh? Uh, some secret stuff? Not really, huh? Okay, so if you feel like you could sacrifice your privacy a little bit, then you have $300 per month. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. 300 euros is 300 euros. You know? It's in your pocket, netto, tax-free. <laughs> yeah? And you can do what you want with it, and nobody ever say anything. My God, 300 euros, huh? You're sweating a lot for that, no? Yes. Mm. Just put it in a bank account, and it will grow very quick, and you'll become very rich at the end of your life. <laughs> yeah, really. You have 30,000, 50,000 euros spare at your retirement. Think about that, yeah? Okay, one year... Just say 3,000. 10 years? 30,000. 20 years? 60,000. Do you have that in your account right now? No. Do you see what I mean? Just put that aside. Forget about it. And put it in a fixed deposit. It will grow more than 30,000. By the end of your life, you put 30,000, or well, not in one go, but even then, every year, every year, it will grow, and you have at least like 50,000 out of the 30,000, you know, through the interest, yeah? Or you invest it in something. Think about that, okay? Now that I save a lot of your money already, like no smoking, no meat, yeah? yeah. Save a lot of money. That's how you can have holidays often like this. <laughs> And this is a wonderful holiday we have, you know? Because, look, if it's raining, the tourists cannot do anything. Yeah, sit in the room and uh, waiting. <laughs> but you don't have to do that. If it's sunny and you like to go out on the beach, you go. If it's raining, you meditate. <laughs> we gain all the time. Yeah? We never bother if it rains or not rains. Do you feel miserable when it rains? Oh, no. Does it ruin your holiday? No! <laughs> we feel better even. Cooler. Cooler. And we sit and meditate better. Yes. No? Yes. Us Come? Yes. A nice you hear the, the sound and you feel nice. See that? We always gain. Ever since you joined the Kuan Yin family, you gain all the time. You don't spend money on smoking, yeah? Because they say only three euros per packet. But 10 packets is 30. 100 packets is 300. 1,000 packets, 3,000. And they smoke all the time. And they complain they don't have money for this, they don't have money for that, their house is broken, cannot repair. Just stop smoking. <laughs> yeah? And stop all kinds of drinking. Alcohol and smoke are very expensive even. And you pay so much hard-earned money for poisoning yourself. Isn't that ridiculous? Yes. So, I told you already that I saved you a lot of money. Yeah. 
But I don't ask for interest, huh? <laughs> you should be happy already. Now it's time for you to think of what else you can save for yourself. Wear simple clothes, buy only the, how you say, the... Second hand. Sec no, no, second hand, no need. <laughs> <laughs> No need to go that far. <laughs> Every season they have clothes on sale. On sale up to 75% even. You just buy a couple of clothes, that's enough. Buy only what you need, okay? Not you want, not what you want. Just what you need is enough. Yeah. You know, I'm still having to take care of a lot of things, so I still have to design or this and that. And, but honestly, there's no need. You know, if I'm just alone, I don't even need to do anything. There's always something there you can live on. Or you just sell something simple, work six months and get off six months to meditate. Or live together, cheap, you know. Now, because you practice the conning method, your life is even more simple already. You don't yearn for luxury or car or anything that is not necessary anymore. Yeah, you save a lot already. And you wear simple clothes, you meditate a lot, you eat simple food. So your life is already very simplified. So try to see more what else you can cut, yeah? Sell what you don't need, you know, to get more money, put the in uh, investments, yeah? Or do anything you want to do with it. And pull together the resources is the best. Eat together, stay together in one place. What for you need a big room? You're supposed to meditate. So one bedroom is enough for four people, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not, you sleep on top of each other. <laughs> Keep warm in winter, no need electricity, heater, nothing. Save more. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you live together, the room is warmer, you know that. Yes. It's for sure. A human heat, you know? Yes. And you can turn the heat lower then. That also saves some electricity <laughs> or gas. Really? I'm not joking, no? Hmm? And uh, even if you're too tired, then you... you s Lay down, sleep together, four people, it's very warm. You don't, you don't even need electricity uh, or heater, not that high. You understand me? Yes. Yeah, after you meditate, you sleep so nicely, really. You just feel warm naturally, huh? Yeah, except for me when I go out in the nature and it's two degrees at night and I'm struggling, but you don't have to go to that extreme. What I mean is if you stay together, you, you save a lot, a lot and a lot. Yeah, you're shopping together, you don't need to go shop alone. Pay petrol for one person instead of four persons. Go shopping for one person instead of four persons. You know, you buy big, big packet family size for four people, it's cheaper than for one person. You will save in many ways. And at the end of the month, you'll be surprised how much money left in your pocket without you working extra. Some people work many extra jobs because they need it. But if they cut down Uh, the expenses in their life were unnecessary, then they will save a lot. They don't need to work two jobs even. And here, even when I came, I saw all the lights had not been changed, you know, to uh, economy lights. But of course, nobody has been here, so that should be okay. But here, even here, if you don't need the light, you turn it off. If you don't need the computer, then you turn it off. Nothing's on standby and light all night for what? Okay, huh? Yes. Everywhere you go. And when you stay together also like that, you economize. Because whatever you save is your money. Yeah? You work very hard for money. Why waste it? That's what I'm asking you. Hmm? Okay. What for you need an apartment with two bedrooms alone? You feel more lonely. <laughs> <laughs> the bigger the house, the more lonely you feel. So big and empty, you know? Really, try it. And the worst is that, okay, I don't like it. Ah, she snores, she stings, so I, I move out. That's it, then you go back to square one. Who cares? If you try and it doesn't work, you have to see if you're compatible with each other. And if it's convenient for your job, whatever, just try whatever you can. And if you don't like it, the worst is that you don't like it. And what will happen? Nothing. You go back to where you were and you <laughs> spend your money again. Who cares? You know, nothing can happen to you. Huh? If you try that, okay? Go try. Save more money for me. <laughs> And then you can spend it. <laughs> I don't ask for your money, but if you have more money, you will feel good. The way you save it, you feel good. And every day you count it, okay? Every month. <laughs> oh, this month I save $70. Oh, 300, 300 for sure. <laughs> if you rent the flash, that's 300 for sure. Netto in your pocket, yeah? And you save more from electricity. You see the bill, the difference. 
between four people and one person. You share the electric bill also, four people. You understand how much more you save. And you write it all down. So physically, you will know that you are really saving it. And then you will be more happy when you see the amount and you see it's really happening. You have to let your mind see it so that he listens to you. I'm doing well. And then you'll be encouraged more. Then you stay together and you feel better. You have to write down everything you save. Food is also shared. Bills are also shared. Everything shared. It's shared among four people and you save so much. Oh, believe me. I'm going to open a bank account and just get some interest from this. <laughs> from advising you. Because people do financial consulting and they take a lot of money for it. <laughs> I do everything for free, but you please do it. I don't want to take any money, but please do it. It will please me if your life is getting any better. Like this, you can retire earlier, you know, also. Have your dream come true. Don't all, or many of you want to retire early. But how? You have to save money. Invest it. Yeah? Invest the money you save, and it will double, double. Okay? All right, that's it. It's all about money, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important to save money so you can go to retreat, you can have your rest, time, retire early, devote yourself to what you want to do. Is that more fun yeah. Yeah. than just uh, working as, uh, you know, um, wasting your energy and time the whole lifetime just because you need to put something in your stomach? You can do it wiser. You see? The same. You still have something in your stomach, <laughs> but you don't have to work that hard. Maybe you cut off your working time, you retire early. Instead of at 60 years old, you retire, you retire at 30 years old, 40 years old. <laughs> yeah, why not? If you do it wisely, you can. The way you're doing it now, I think it might be too late, but <laughs> it's still not too late to begin again. At least you save from this month of 300, if you do it, okay? Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little far to go to the bus, but then it's 300 euros. Think about that. <laughs> okay, huh? Yes. Any more questions? Thank you, Max. It seems workable. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What, love? I, I want just to say that you can do it without family, because my husband, he mm -hmm. don't like this. Uh, I am very simple. That mm -hmm. If he wants to buy something for me special, you know, I'm not so care. And yeah. I don't want to go to theater because I am not uh, curious. Anymore, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to spend uh, time by meditation. I know. And he don't like this, my, my style. Of course, of course. <laughs> Is he uh, uh, initiated? No. Then, of course. He is meat eater. Oh, well. <laughs> well, what to do? You already stuck there and you try to work it out. Unless you want to get out, you have to stick to it. Nah? But what I mean is for the bachelors, the people are already easy and have no obligations. Why have to rent an apartment all for yourself? Yeah? You know, when you live together, it's more simple. You can say, okay, uh, you know, uh, Lisa, today I'm very busy. Can you wash my clothes for me while I'm... <laughs> yeah, they can put it in and watch it for you while you're gone away. Or you wash clothes together and it doesn't waste so much money and electricity. Or cook together. Oh, please cook the meal. You know, I have to go now. But, uh, you know, and the next day, oh, my car broke down. Oh, please go. I'll help together to, to fix it. You know, many hands make light work. One day you cook, next day I cook, and we don't have to cook every day even. See, and we always have different tastes, different meals. Isn't that fun? Yes. And eat together, nice. Talk together about God all day. Yeah, or listen together and then talk about the same interests, you know, and you encourage each other. Just like a group meditation every day. It's like a small center every day, you see? And you think of nothing else but meditate together. Because we talk about these things together all day and every time, and so we just encourage in this direction. And your life spiritually also will be improved. Yeah? I don't control your life. I don't want to mess up with your decision or anything. I'm just telling you, this is the way. Uh, if somebody can do it, it's very good for you. Yeah? For many people, for whoever can do it. You know, the bachelor, the single. Living alone is sometimes very depressing. Living together, sometimes you have a little problem, but that's no big deal. Go meditate and then you laugh again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really, it's like that. It's just uh, my advice, you know. Not everybody can do it, of course. If you have family and children, it's more difficult. Yes. Yeah. But if the family has more rooms, then two families can also join together even. 
live together, you know? Because if, if the, uh, the whole family is initiated and the other family is also initiated, uh, kids are also joined together, live together, you know? Except the parents have one room and the kids share two kids each or something. And uh, why not? Why not? I don't see why not. After you practice meditation already, what, what is the limit anymore? What more privacy do you need or anything? It's all the same direction, same ideal. Yeah? Yes. If it can work out like that, also fine. All the couples married already, but can join together in one apartment. Some people married couples mostly, they have a uh, two-bedroom apartment, you know? Uh, and they have one living room, one bedroom, and things like that. Oh, why bother? Huh? <laughs> you can use the living room as another bedroom, so you can live a couple together nicely and cook together. Even husband and wife, two couples can live together also. Save a lot of money and time and manpower. Yeah, you always have some helper nearby to help you do this, do that, something you cannot do alone. Yeah, and still, uh, still have help in hand. One person goes shopping, the other three stay home, meditate. And one person cooks, the other meditate. One person cleans the house, take turns, everybody else is happy. No? Yes. Yeah, one person washes the whole household clothes and uh, dry them, and the other person just do what they want. To wash one person's clothes or four person's clothes is similar. But the other three persons are free. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? There are always advantages, yeah? And the food together is always cheaper and tastes better. Hmm? Okay, and meditate together, encouraging each other to meditate more. And you have more happiness together, and less quarrels between the couples. Yeah? And if you don't like it, well, the worst thing is that you don't like it, okay, move out again. Very simple. Huh? Okay? Yes. Right. I don't mean you must go with your husband. You have to leave him first. <laughs> I mean for the ones who can, the bachelor who still can, think about that. Just think about it. It's just my suggestion. Eh? Think about it, and if you can do it, then it's beneficial. Really, it will benefit you. Eh? You can see it right away. You write out all the benefits that you have, <laughs> and then you will see physically that it's really good. I encourage all of you to do it. Okay? Yeah. I don't promise that you have heaven when you live together. Maybe you have a little different opinion and all that, but later on you get used to it, and it's really not a big deal. You just go meditate, that's it. <laughs> if you don't like something, just say, okay, please clean your own kitchen, huh? <laughs> after you cook, and that's it, and then you go meditate, after you come out, oh, it's clean. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal. It's really wonderful to live together. You should. You should, yeah? What for waste money and pay for the whole apartment, eh? After uh, the running method, you should be like a monk already. There's not much that you should want, really, no? You feel that way, no? Yeah. Then just do it. Make your apartment a temple, and all these little monks live together. <laughs> <laughs> Big monks, little monks. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Try it, okay? Yeah. Tell your people. Okay. Yeah, if they want it, they can do that, okay? It's like uh, every apartment is the center, you know? And then you'll be happy together, yeah. There's always somebody, oh, when you're sick, you're alone, nobody, you don't feel like cooking. Huh? Why are you laughing at? It's true. Huh? It's true. Yeah, when you're alone, you're sick, you don't feel like cooking, and you, you're too tired to... Or if someday you're too tired from work or have physical exhaustion, you can ask your roommate, you know, <laughs> please cook me something. I'm tired. Somebody's there for, if, uh, the shoulder for you to cry on or to say, oh, I'm tired today. Can, can you cook me a soup, you know? Of course they do it. Or when the other person is tired or sick, can I do something? Can I cook you uh, some special food, your favorite food? Uh, you know, because when you're sick and tired, you don't want to do it yourself. But somebody else is there, and they cook it, oh, you enjoy it, no? Yes. Yes. And look after each other, of course, and it becomes more loving and more like family. And you will feel like this is the best ever idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go around. What now? Thôi bác mệt rồi, già rồi lấy cái nó gãy xương sống. 
No need. Uh, please don't do it. It's okay. Now you're happy. Yeah? Rồi, được chưa? Được rồi. À, khỏi. Không sao đâu. Đủ mà. Ok. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He just wanted to prostrate to me once to say thank you. That's why I say no need. You're all already. Your bones are not to me. But uh, he liked to do it. He did already. I couldn't stop it. Never mind. But you don't uh, copy, huh? I know. <laughs> I'm telling you, good ideas always come around, hey? <laughs> If I were you, um, a single, I would just go and live with uh, any practitioner together, you know? I won't waste my money. Thôi được rồi bác hả? Sinh sống còn nguyên hả? Thôi đừng lại nữa, nó đau sinh sống. Thế hả? Dục sư phụ dạng thang thang trường thỏ. À, cảm ơn bác. Dường thương sư phụ ban cho tất cả thế giới này. Con thấy gì không nữa? Ông nghe rồi nhé, hồi nãy giờ nói không nghe. He says, yeah, become uh, not very clear, so he wants to, to ask somebody else to become that person. Thank you for your work all these years anyway. Okay, come on back, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, bất cử người nào thì bác viết ghi giấy cho mẹo lý, okay, huh? Yeah, yeah. Tiếng cử người nào, huh? Để nhờ Caroline... Uh... Caroline là người nào đâu? Đó, đó. Đâu? Đó, đó là đâu? <cười> Bạn đó gặp. Uh, mập, mập đó, hả? <cười> <cười> okay. Nhưng mà cũng cần người Việt Nam nữa chứ, hả? Dạ, yeah, uh, bởi vì tiếp là lỗ tay con biết rồi nhiều khi kêu vô nó Mỹ rồi. Okay, okay. Con. Yeah, đó là để một thời gian con có thể nếu nó bớt thì huh? con ở đằng sau hỗ trợ. Ok, ok. Uh, để uh, kiếm người khác thôi. Yeah, he's doing it right now anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do you need a Vietnamese or a Chinese also? Yeah, Vietnamese would be good. Is there anybody? Um, well, right, the okay, you, you write to me for me uh, the situation, okay? Yeah. yeah. Inform them, and then I will say okay or not, yeah? Mm-hmm. And that's what they do when they don't want to 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 be contact person or they move, they, they write it, or the center or other people write it to me and say, okay, we uh, recommend somebody else, and you know, give me a few options, and I say, this one okay, this one not okay, okay? Yeah. Yeah. À, cảm ơn bác mấy, mấy năm nay tám chục tám chục wow is uh, 80 years old next next year wow. well, you young, huh? yeah. Yeah. the healthy living vegetarian <cười> <cười> mấy người nói bác còn khỏe lắm còn trẻ đẹp trai nữa con thì thương con giờ nào con con biết làm cái gì để đáp sư phụ có tiền được ở để đáp sư để dẫn dắt người trên đường về thượng đế giờ nào con cũng thương có tình thương hết ok ok see you later guys